You have an idea, a design, or even an existing app. Do you want to make it available to millions of people in the largest user base in the world? I do. Windows 8 can help you with that. It gives you a modern and robust platform and a familiar set of tools. My name is David Chow, and I want to show you how to use these tools to quickly get your apps to those millions of people. Apps are at the center of the Windows 8 experience. As developers, by turning ideas into code, we can create apps that are beautiful, immersive, responsive, intuitive, and that users will love. But the apps also have to run harmoniously on the widest range of form factors and devices, work seamlessly with touch, pen, mouse, and keyboard, be easy to find, safe to install and use, and tap into a new runtime and programming model. That may sound like a lot to learn. It's not. Let me show you. Choose your language. You can develop Metro-style apps in a variety of familiar languages. Use JavaScript, HTML, and CSS if you know web development technologies. Use C Sharp, Visual Basic, and XAML if you have developed apps with .NET, Windows Phone, or Silverlight. And you can use C++ with XAML to apply what you already know about native Windows development, or with DirectX to take full advantage of graphics hardware. What's more, Windows 8 gives you a consistent access to platform features and a natural way to program in these supported languages. This gives you a familiar developer experience in your language of choice. So instead of learning a whole new programming language, you can focus on building an amazing app and delivering it to users faster. Create a user interface. As a starting point, the easiest way is to use the project templates that come with Visual Studio. These templates represent common app scenarios and navigation models, use the appropriate layouts that can accommodate different screen sizes and resolutions, and conform to Metro-style design best practices. For example, the Grid App template can be customized to create apps that allow users to browse through categories to find content in which they will really want to fully immerse themselves. Shopping apps, news apps, books and article apps, and photo and video apps are all great candidates. As you add UI controls and items to the app canvas, use the built-in animations library to add motion and visual signals to your app. These animations are fast, fluid, and aligned to the Metro-style design language. In fact, the built-in UI controls all use these animations too. This means you can get the Metro-style animations look and feel without having to program it yourself. Handle user interaction. Although touch is a primary mode of interaction for Metro-style apps, it is not replacing the mouse, keyboard, pen, or stylus. The speed, accuracy, and tactile feedback that these traditional input modes provide are familiar and appealing to many users. With this in mind, the built-in controls are designed from the ground up to be touch-optimized, while ensuring consistent and engaging interaction experiences across all the input modes. Use the pointer events to get touch, mouse, and pen data and use gestures for input that range from simple interactions like tapping to more complicated ones like zooming, panning, and rotating. With gesture and pointer events, you get a unified and streamlined way to respond to user input and to add standardized touch and user interaction methods that align with Metro-style design best practices. Add data to the UI. Most apps display lists of data, such as stock prices, news headlines, images in the gallery, or the contents of a shopping cart. These lists might get their data from a database, the web, or a JSON data source. The easiest way to display that data in UI controls is to apply familiar data binding techniques in the supported languages. Data binding gives your app a simple way to display and interact with data from various sources. When the binding is established and the data changes, the UI elements that are bound to the data can display these changes automatically. Maintain responsiveness. Use asynchronous programming to help your app stay responsive and cut down on the amount of time users have to wait for the app while it does a time-consuming operation, such as when downloading data and content over the network. You could do this by always calling the built-in async functions to accomplish specific tasks. You can also create your own async functions for using your apps with the new streamlined async programming support in your language of choice, such as using promise in JavaScript and the await operator in C-sharp. These are new features that simplify asynchronous programming, so you can write async code that looks similar to regular code, helping you to focus on the features of your app rather than spending time on the technical implementation. Manage user info. 
your app should store user credentials, such as ID and password, so that users don't have to enter them every time they launch your app to gain access to services that require authentication. And of course, credentials should be stored and managed securely. Windows 8 gives you a built-in password vault that you can use in your apps to store and access user credentials securely. It also has the added benefit of seamless credential roaming between the user's trusted Windows 8 PCs, which automatically assigns the users into your app when they switch between different devices. Another way to enable single sign-on in your app is to use the Live Connect sign-in control that is part of the Live SDK. It can automatically detect that the user has already signed in with a Microsoft account, also known as Windows Live ID, and not require sign-in again. This approach also gives you the advantage of not having to create and maintain your own authentication system. There are many great things about Windows 8. Knowing how you can use them to make a great app will help you in the long run. Be sure to check the daily tips and the Windows Dev Center website for more in-depth tips and tricks to make the most of Windows 8. Let's turn that idea you have into an awesome app and show it to the world.